Knoxville woman is desperately trying to find a COVID-19 vaccine for her husband. He's immunocompromised and homebound, so they say going to a clinic or a hospital really just isn't an option. Six on your side's Elizabeth Kubel hears from the couple this afternoon as they continue their search now for a shot. Elizabeth? That's right, Bo. This is really important to this husband and wife. And with all Tennesseans 16 and older now eligible for a vaccine, Brenda Folk is hopeful her husband Dewey can get a dose soon. I can't bring him to the shot. I need someone to bring the shot to him. Brenda Folk is trying hard to get her husband Dewey vaccinated. He's immunocompromised, a cancer survivor, and he no longer has a spleen. That's why she really doesn't want him exposed to COVID. If he were to catch it, he would not fare well because of all of his health conditions. Dewey is also homebound. He says he's got severe arthritis and can't walk very far, which means going somewhere to get a shot isn't feasible. I can't even take him into the next room. He's not able to walk there. The nonprofit Tennessee Association for Home Care is hoping to help East Tennesseans in similar situations. It's working on a project to vaccinate people who are homebound and should be able to roll it out in the next several weeks. So our East Tennessee provider uh, is in the process of, of being onboarded and as soon as that happens, we'll be approved to place our first vaccine order and then we'll actually begin scheduling uh, vaccinations in the home. And getting a shot would be a big relief for Brenda and a game changer for Dewey. We don't want to have to say to our friends, you can't come here unless you get shots. Yeah, if I, if I was vaccinated, I would feel safe inviting friends over here. I love him. <laughs> I don't want to see something bad happen to him. Now, the Tennessee Association for Home Care says it plans to use the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Remember, J&J &J is a single dose shot, so they say that it makes sense to be able to provide a full vaccine in one visit. Bo. All right, Elizabeth, thank you very much. Now, the association is developing a wait list right now. We'll be sure to follow up and pass along contact information when the project gets closer to rolling out.